God is good. Today is uh, uh, they were going to leave some things in haste and also enter into some things in haste. This gathering is different from any other gathering. Uh, we have prayer times during the week, but also early on Sunday mornings, we pray for the services. And this morning when we were praying, the, the glory cloud just dropped in there. Hallelujah. You, you know, you're not much without the presence of God. Moses said, take everything you want, but don't take me, or as David said, that don't take me from your presence. It's Moses who said, if your presence does not go with us, don't send us up from here. Um, during the course of the week, you may have so many gatherings and places where you meet either family, work, mahaber, uh, you know, all these different responsibilities and hats that you wear, and you have to sit down in some kind of format together for an agenda. But this particular gathering is different from every other agenda because we are gathered in His name. So this is a, ga a gathering dedicated to Him and His name, which means things are different about this gathering. That he honors this gathering, that he comes down low on this gathering, and that things happen and transpire that not that will happen not at any uh, other gathering. Praise the Lord! So I have a great expectation in my heart for what God is going to do today. Somebody's going to live different from the way that they came in today. God is here, and God is here in His full power, not half. God did not come in here tired. Hmm? <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So I just want to build some faith and some expectation. We're going to be praying for people today. Um, go with me, please, to John chapter 11. I'm going to just bring a very short word, then we're going to have time of prayer today. John chapter 11 and verse number 41. Um, this is the story of Lazarus, when Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. I'm sure many of you are familiar with this story. Um, but uh, there's just something that I saw in here that I think that would be of benefit to us and for our purposes today. John chapter 11 and verse number 41. So they took away the stone. Then Jesus looked up and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I knew that you always hear me, but I said this for the benefit of the people standing here, that they may believe that you sent me. When he had said this, Jesus called out in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. Hallelujah. The thing I wanted us to see here is, um, it's really blessed me. Jesus thanked the Father, but then he called to Lazarus. He spoke to Lazarus, he, he thanked the Father, and he spoke to Lazarus. And I wanted us to pay attention here that he did not talk to the Father about Lazarus, Rather, he thanked the Father and spoke directly to, to Lazarus. Okay? It's a slight, uh, slight shift in, the, in, the, in, the, in the, prob probably how we would normally do things. And I thought about this and I realized that maybe in some cases our Lazarus, is not, our Lazarus situation is not changing is because we're speaking to God about Lazarus instead of speaking directly to Lazarus. Mm. Uh, and maybe the reason we're not speaking directly to Lazarus is because we don't know who we are. Uh, and this thing of commanding and knowing who we are, they go a long way in our experience in God. I would like to suggest to you that when Christ Jesus died on the cross, rose on the third day, saved your soul from hell. He did not save your soul so that you could be a member of the Christian institution and organization with a membership card. Yeah. But rather, he, 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 he caused your soul to be saved out of bondage, out of darkness, out of death, into his marvelous light, so that the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead would also be living and operational in you. That the same authority that Jesus had, the same righteousness that Jesus had, the same position in God that Jesus had, hallelujah, that we now also have. That was the intention. That was the plan. That was the vision. But we've reduced our position to a membership in a club where we have to ask God for permission. 
But I would like to suggest to you that God has given you a measure of authority in Christ Jesus. I would like to suggest to you eh, that God has given you a measure of righteousness and authority. And based on that righteousness and authority, it is the ball is in your hands. Amen. It is what you declare that has the power now. So G we are actually the, have the same righteousness as Jesus had. What we see uh, about who we are is the most important thing about everything about us. When I look at the mirror, hmm, I see an image speaking back to me. That image tells me what I am and what I have and what I can do and what I cannot do based on what I am and what I have. All right? For example, when I look at the mirror, I have these little funny gray things here. All right? And that means it does not just mean I have gray hair. It means I have joined the club of the gray-headed. Hmm? And other clubs that we're fighting against in the name of Jesus. All right? But it's not just what I have, it is what I am. You see what I'm saying? I am not, I'm not just an owner. You cannot separate the two. Jesus. So, so or, or put it maybe this way. When I go to the bank and I ask for my bank balance, or now we can get it on our phones, or, or however you do your banking, however you get your banking, there is a small message that comes that tells you balance. Now, that balance can be a blessing and a curse. Same phone, same bank statement, same bank branch. But whatever numbers that come across and flash across that, it sends a message to you that tells you how much you have or <laughs> how much you don't have. Okay? And what you have and what you don't have, it's not only what you have and what you don't have, it's also who you are. Because based on those numbers, you are poor, you don't have poverty, <laughs> you are <laughs> poor, or you are rich. Hmm? Now, based on those numbers, and based on what you have now become because of that information, it determines your boundaries. It determines what's allowed and not allowed. It determines what's possible and what is not possible. Who you are now determines what you can and cannot do. Amen, amen? amen. But my point being is that piece of information, it gets into, it's not just what you have, it's who you are. Eh? Your gray hair is not just what you have, unless you do some medicine, come on somebody. Eh? That is, you are a gray-headed. Eh? Your bank statement, it tells you not just what you have, it tells you who you are. Your passport doesn't tell you what you have, it tells you who you are. And who you are is the most important thing about you. When Jesus died and rose again, hallelujah, Jesus, the first thing he told to the women when he came out of the grave, he told them, I am now going to your father and my father. And your my God and your God. Meaning that the status now it, it has changed. Eh? Here is your new status now. I have risen from the dead. See, the, the law says that the wages of sin is death. So anyone who sins, which is every one of us, we get a payment. And that payment is death. We deserve to die. Jesus, so either we have to die for our sins or someone has to die in our place. Because that's the wages. Jesus dies in our place so that the Bible says that he who, be, he who knew no sin became sin for us so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. So righteousness is who we are. Hallelujah. That means that there is a measure of authority. That means it tells me my boundaries. My righteousness tells me my boundaries. It tells me what's possible and impossible. What I can and cannot do. Hallelujah. So I don't talk. I talk to the Father but not in matters pertaining to my responsibility and my authority. I thank the Father for this authority, but I speak directly to Lazarus. I thank the God, I thank God for what he has accomplished for me, all right? But I speak to dead things to come to life again. Are, are you following what I'm saying? Praise the Lord. So, so today, hallelujah, uh, we're, going to, we're going to speak to some things to come back to life again. We're going to speak to some depression to come back to life again. We're going to call you out of that challenge that you have been in. We're going to call you out of that, that, that bondage and that depression. That yoke that has not left your neck today is divine appointment for that neck. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Whenever we lift the cup and lift the bread, hallelujah, not much preaching is necessary actually. Because he, he himself working through us is here to break the yoke and to remove the burden. There is a yoke that is strong, but there is a burden breaker that is stronger. There is a depression that is strong, but there is an empty tomb that gives us another story. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So today, whatever issue you have been fighting with, whatever your struggle has been, I have an announcement today. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I told you to make haste because we're coming out of some things today. I didn't say it. it's the things that accompany the Lord's Supper. Make haste because we're coming out of some, some things today. Hallelujah. I said we're coming out of some things today. Hallelujah. Some things is going to be coming out of some things today. You're leaving some things behind today. Hallelujah. We're not going to talk to God about our Lazarus. We're going to thank God for the authority he has given us. And we're going to personally declare some things to our Lazarus. Hallelujah. 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 I can feel that enemy who has been messing with you getting nervous right about now. You feel him getting nervous? He knows his time is up. So I would like everybody to stand at this time. There is the world of the seen and then there is the world of the unseen. The world of the unseen is greater than the world of the seen because the seen world does not come from things that are seen. The things that are seen come from the things which are unseen. And what we're going to do is just turn the faucets on, just like when you go in the shower and put the water on. And the, the, the water from the other realm starts to pour. Hallelujah. And it floods your body that without that water would remain dry. Today we're going to turn on the waters of the fourth dimension. We're going to turn on the waters of the unseen realm, of the spirit realm. Hallelujah. Something starts to flow in here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that burden has to be removed. That burden has to be, Lazarus come forth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're not going to talk to God about Lazarus. We're going to thank God for the authority and speak to Lazarus. We're not members of the Christian society. We are the sons and the daughters of the Most High God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just lift your hands right now. Don't pray to God about your situation now. No, don't, don't talk to God about your situation. Thank God. Hallelujah. Thank God just like Jesus Thank God. I thank you that you always hear me. I know that you always hear me. I thank you that I am yours and you are mine. I thank you that I am a child of the Most High God. I thank you, Father God, for the price that has been paid for me to come into this atmosphere of father-son, father-daughter relation. I thank you, Father God, that I am yours and you are mine. Woo, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isn't it a blessing? Don't talk to God about Lazarus. Thank God for the authority. Thank God for the righteousness. Thank God for your passport. Thank God for your sonship. Thank God for the the privilege of being called a child of God. Hallelujah. Now we're going to talk to our Lazarus. We're not even going to talk. We're going to command. I command every spirit that has been tormenting you. I command every lie that you have bought into. I command every stronghold that has been set up in your mind. I command every lie that is consumed and directed and conducted your... I command... Every spirit, your time is up. Every sickness and disease. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your time is up. Your time is up. We're going to just be laying hands on people today. Believing that as the oil hits your head, the faucet is turned on. Hallelujah. Your shower is turned on. Your condition changes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
So if you're here today and you are sick in body or if you're challenged with something that's too much for you, I want to tell you that there is a balm in Gilead, that there is a God who is here present and he's going to flow through his servants today. We're going to agree with you. Something's going to be left behind here. You are coming out in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We serve eviction notice on every lie of the enemy. We serve eviction notice on every sickness and disease. We serve eviction notice on every, every demonic stronghold. Hallelujah. Hey, this is just a reminder. Have you subscribed to our Telegram channel? Not only will you find important announcements, but also access to our daily devotionals, family devotionals, and much, much more. We also want to take this moment to thank you for your generosity and faithfulness throughout the years. Not only is your giving a fragrant and acceptable offering before God, but Paul in 2 Corinthians 9.12 describes it as an expression of ministry. And it is that very ministry that allows us to continue to put our hands to the plow together in the work of reaching people with the message of God's grace and love. You can give through four different avenues. You can stop by your nearest commercial bank, or Braham Bank and deposit your offering into the account number on the screen, you can also take advantage of either bank's mobile banking apps. For those of you who have international major credit cards or debit cards, you can give online on our website, bezachurch.org. And you can always stop by our accounting office on the PK Building 5th floor and they will be happy to serve you there. In this extraordinary and unusual season, we appreciate you going out of your way to give. Thank you. God bless you. በመጨረሻም አንድ ነገር ላስተዋውሳችሁ የቤዛ ቴሌግራም ቻናልን ጆይን ያደርጉ። በቴሌግራም የቤተክርስቲያን ማስተዋቂያ ብቻ ሳይሆን የለታዊ የእግዚአብሔር ቃል ጥናት፣ የቤተሰብ ጥናት እና ሌሎች አጫጭር ነገሮችን ያገኛሉ። በዚህ መንፈሳዊነቱን በመመገብ ይትኩ። በመጨረሻ ለእግዚአብሔር በታማኝነት እንደቃሉ አስራትና መባችሁን የፍቅር ስጦታችሁን ስለምትሰጡ እግዚአብሔር ይባርካችሁ። ለእግዚአብሔር የምትሰጡት ስጦታችሁ በእግዚአብሔር ዘንድ እንደ መልካም ማዕዛ እንደሆነ ቃሉ ያስተምረናል ይብቻ ሳይሆን ሁለተኛ ቆሮንጦስ ምዕራፍ 9 ቁጥር 12 ላይ እንደሚያስተምረን ለእግዚአብሔር የምናቀርበው አገልግሎታችንም ጭምር ነው ይህ አገልግሎታችሁ በእግዚአብሔር ያገልግሉት እርሻ ላይ አብልጠን እንድንዘረጋ ሰዎችንም በእግዚአብሔር የጸጋ ቃል እንድንدرس የሚያደርገን አብረን የምንጠመድበት ያገልግሉት እድል ነው ስትሰጡ ባራት መንገድ መስጠት ይችላልላችሁ አንደኛ በቅርባችሁ ወደሚገኝ የኢትዮጵያ ንግድ ባንክ ወይም ብርሃን ባንክ በመሄድ ሁለተኛ በተለይም በዚህ እንግዳ ጊዜ በስልካችሁ በሚገኝ ሞባይል ባንኪንግ አፕ እንድትጠቀሙ አብልጠን እንመክራለን ከኢትዮጵያ ውጪ ላላችሁ ወገኖቻችን ደግሞ በሜጀር ክሬዲት ካርድ ወይም ዴቢት ካርድ በመጠቀም bezachurch.org ድረገጽ ላይ በመሄድ መስጠት ይችላልላችሁ በመጨረሻም በቲኬ ኢንተርናሽናል ህንፃ አምስተኛ ፎቅ ላይ በሚገኘው የቤዛ ሂሳብ ክፍል በመሄድ ለተሰጡት ይችላልላችሁ በዚህ ባልተለመደ እንግዳ በሚመስል ጊዜ ሁሉን አልፋችሁ ለእግዚአብሔር ሥራ ከሌላው ጊዜ አብልጣችሁ ስለተዘረጋችሁ እግዚአብሔር ይባርካችሁ እንወዳችኋለን እግዚአብሔር ይጠብቃችሁ ፊቱንም ያብራላችሁ